Corey Mox, a nationally ranked wrestler and a senior who was accused of raping a female student at a party last March. News Channel 9's Kelsey Bagwell explains his return to campus. Kelsey. Josh Latricia, Corey Mock's return to campus was simultaneous with an announcement about changes to the school's misconduct policy. UTC says the yes means yes policy was in place before this incident, but it needed to be more clearly defined. Today I spoke with Corey's father, who continues to seek justice for his son. A star wrestler benched for good following allegations of sexual misconduct. A female student said she was raped by senior Corey Mock at a party last March. UTC's judicial system found him guilty in December and he was expelled. But the victim filed a complaint that the school didn't handle her case properly. It led to a Title IX investigation into the school's student code by the Offices of Civil Rights. Our policies were in pretty good shape. We actually already had a lot of those recommendations in place on our campus. We really needed to sort of codify it and make our definition stronger. Today, we also spoke with Corey's father, a wrestling coach in North Carolina. It's been very painful, not only because he's been deemed guilty uh, before having the opportunity uh, to be proven innocent, but he's, you know, this is, this is irreparable harm. In a previous email to News Channel 9, the victim said she filed the complaint in hopes of getting rid of the hearing as a disciplinary option. Yesterday, the school asked students for their opinions on the yes means yes policy, who were told expressed frustration with Mock's return. Not only do we have the policies in place to deal with issues, but we also have the culture on our campus that says, you know, Assault is not acceptable. Meanwhile, his father has been put on blast for a blog he created. I started the blog because there was no opportunity for the accused to have a voice. And that was the purpose of the blog, is to basically just say, look, there's another side to this story. The female victim is now living in New Mexico, and as for Mock, he's filed a chancery court appeal which helped bring him back to campus. We'll let you know what happens.